Welcome, everyone, to the Glentendo Circuit Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Online Weekly ASMR Hour. Uh, my <laughs> name is Nintunist, and we're here to bring you a very special edition of the Glentendo Circuit. It, it's, it's a special one. It's the same as always as before, with one hour for all of these wonderful, talented racers to complete their 12 races here at the Glentendo Circuit, bringing brought to you by... Chris Elodian of Master Hand Gamings, no doubt, as he always is, and your favorite hometown six foot five tall giant ass huge commentator, Nintunist, yes. who is also very drowsy for reasons that I won't go into right now. But because of such, we're going to be talking about all sorts of calm things for you guys to enjoy, like uh, like doilies. I'm sure you guys enjoy doilies. You know the the kind of stuff that you put around trash cans. I'm sure you can make special ones. You know, like in, as in your quality craft services hour. We're not going to teach you how to make them today, because that's not what this show is. What this one is instead is Mario Kart, which we're going into, which we got some wonderful streamers for you guys today, as always. One of them, I know for a fact, is Melpool, who is out here, like, tryharding even more than he normally does. He's playing Roy out here. I already saw him earlier on in that early race already, and he's doing it again. <laughs> Dude, let me let me ask let me ask you a question, Antinus. I know you weren't here last week. He's got the Pokemon Switch Lite too. Oh, that's yeah, sick. dude. That's what I was gonna say. Do you know who this is on the right? Oh, uh, is that Sweet Lou? On the right? Oh no, no. On the right. Okay, so get ready for this. Get Jet ready line. for this one. Ready? So it's Jetline, but Jetline actually goes by Jet, but Jet is actually Adam in game, who we know. We, we're, we're very well familiar with Adam because he enters nearly every week. Um, okay. And does really well every week. Usually uses Yoshi. It's obviously using Peach, or I'm sorry, Daisy today. And uh, yeah, it does look like Melpool is tryharding because there's the Roy. And I think it's the first time I have seen him use Roy. He usually uses Inkling, if, if I recall. And then guess what? You know who else is here? You know who Ooh. else is here. Your favorite, Ooh. your favorite e-girl who I guess feeling a little bit shy today, not going on camera. Cafe Cold Brew. Aww. Yeah, I know. No reason. So, no sometimes, reason to be shy. I know. So, sometimes you just need the night off, you know. And I actually see some other good people here. I already see HSB. I don't know if you remember what HSB stands for, but I sure do. That is Hot Sexy Beast. Um, I believe that is a pirate hacker, and the pirate hackers literally just occupy this tournament, and I kind of love it. Uh, you know, just yo ho, yo ho, the pirate bay for me. Yar, yeah. So that's for when you can't get your favorite shows on on Hulu okay, or Amazon never mind. or Netflix never mind. or anything HSB, else. HSB, hold on, fake news. HSB is not pirate hacker. <laughs> I just learned about him through night. He's a pirate <laughs> hacker. My bad. Fake news. <laughs> I gotta get my facts straight, dude. <laughs> oh, it's holy sexy beast. Oh, he isn't. Those yeah, are... he is a pirate hacker, but he is, he's Fate's teammate, and we all know who Fate is because he wins almost every single week these days. Those, my friend, are three things that I personally would have never put together. I'm not going to lie to you on that front. Speaking of things to put together, on the top right, of course, we have Jetline here in Adam playing a day playing a Daisy on. I can't tell what bike that is from this angle because of the um... fact that it is a screen on screen, and we are in fact in 2006 watching 2006 Let's Plays. Dude, out here. he's making it work. He's rocking it. Look at that. Look at that, dude. He just took he just took uh, a third place. Let's see what the rest of that race looks like. So yeah, that is HSV coming in first and. Uh, yeah, that's Fate, who looks like he has a little bit change in, in his how he uh, how his tag shows in games. So, all right, yeah, those two guys coming in one and two, apparently teammates from what I understand, from the intel coming in through chat. Shoutouts tonight. Ooh, that bump was so unfortunate. That's just going to throw him out of the top three and potentially the top five even right there, unfortunately, for Melpool. He was... He just used that mushroom at a very inopportune time. He bumped right into the wall, and as you all know, it's sort of like teleporting in other like various fighting games and whatnot, in which you sort of ride the momentum of the wall and during the boost, and it kind of just forces you to keep going in the direction of that wall, which is just not good, because not only does it like force you to continue going in one direction, it stops you on the grass, which is also not good, which is going to slow you down on the re on the uh, on the, the recovery in the long run anyway, so that is pretty much the worst time that could possibly happen. And to offer you guys a little bit of a fun fact right here, I mean, I think this is relatively interesting. When I was working for Nintendo, we, uh, these, per this particular Switch Lite came out during, uh, this one? during that tenure with them. Yes, this is the, that, uh, that we're looking the, at. The, 
Yeah, this is okay. the the the, the freaking the Zaphiros and Zameta Schlage Block is Zementa from Pokemon Black and uh, Shield, and we, it's it's like it's it was it's rare. We had these for a little bit, and like I told people to get them like while they could because it was going to be really limited time, and then we had those for a short time, and then at every single store I went to, from the West Jersey ones all the way out to the Bronx. These were gone everywhere. I had people ask me about them, and I told them, Nah, son, you messed up. It's gone. And you see, he's shaking with joy right now. You see him shaking the Switch Lite because he knows he has one. It's the rare Pokemon one that I'm pretty sure is still not restocked on the shelves for any reason. But good on him and good on Jetline. And a big thank you to him for streaming so we can bring you the wonderful Glintendo circuits we bring you every single week. Meanwhile, at the right, we got Cafe Cold Brew over in the same race, hanging back at fifth place on what I believe to be the third section of N64 Rainbow Road right here. Not a particularly more difficult section than any other ones of them. It is a relatively easy map to race on regardless, but it's looking like... He's not going to be able to make up that lost time and distance. The thing with easy maps and easy uh, races, easy stages, I should say, like N64 Rainbow Road, is that it's really, really hard if you're behind to catch up. You know, just having leads on a level like this is so, so huge because you're able to hold that advantage for so much longer, as our good friend Adam Jet was able to do there right here, go. taking first in this race over Fate, which is not somebody to slouch over to take a W over. So good on him for taking that race over at N64 Rainbow Road. Yeah, man. And uh, I I'm glad Adam actually fixed the in-game tag because uh, I was kind of memeing last week about <laughs> knowing who he was because there was three ways to refer to him. So that's good. Very clear now. And yeah, shout out to him. Good placing. Uh, looking pretty strong already today. And since there are only 12 races, having two good races in a row is uh, kind of a big deal around these parts. Mm-hmm. Definitely a bigger deal around these parts than before. I mean, you know, I mean, you want to talk about parts and how this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Now, my friend, it really isn't, because there are only 12 races as opposed to what the Glintendo circuit used to be, which literally means that the town will not be big enough for everybody this time around, because these Ws matter a lot, a lot more than they used to, my friends, and all these racers know that, because we got grinders in these circuits, my friend. And I will tell you firsthand, last week, I'm sure, as you recall, if you are a frequent viewer of the Glintendo Circuit Master Hand Gaming streams, uh, your boy here, N N Nintunis, was not present. The reason was, I was down the shore with my family on a little vacation, and as such, my partake of the Glintendo Circuit last week was as a player, rather than a commentator, my first time doing it in months on end. And to put it in perspective for how hard these guys and all these racers grind for you on here, I got washed. I, I got absolutely destroyed uh, in that circuit. I think I finished 15th last week out of not that as many players. It wasn't that good. Something even lower beforehand. It just goes to show you the stacked talent pool that we have for these guys out here. As you can tell, a player as talented as Melpool on the final lap, all the way back in eighth place right now, and I'm not sure he's going to be able to make this up against these players in front of him, especially with the lack of a bullet bill on this way. He's going to have to go for the shortcut. Why not risk it? Was able to bump up two places right there towards the very end because of that shortcut and the star with the boosts and mushrooms right there. So very good uh, resource management right there for the final resources he had for that race. That was just about as good as he could do considering the final position he was in up there. Meanwhile, up at the top, we got Pirate Hackers Geronimo. Right below him is Glenn. And the third one, because I did not read it fast enough, was another video game player that I don't remember the name yeah, of. Yeah, I saw that one. So, yeah, it looks like Glenn actually... Um bringing it today because i think that was two I, I think what he gets second that race and maybe third the race before i might have that wrong maybe got fourth or something but either way getting the results so oops that's not what we're looking ain't at that's what we're looking at ain't he a special lad special enough that we name tournaments after him like this which is not the first time that's happened for all of you new bloods out here i remember the legend of glintendo was the first regional i ever commentated at it's, he became a meme in the scene, and it's, we really appreciate Nintendo for it. Meanwhile, at the right, we got Cold Brew falling down to seventh place in that race. Meanwhile, Jet all the way up to third. Fate back on top in first place, you know, securing these Ws as he is one to do. That is a very frequent top three racer in these Glintendo circuits, to say the least, man. If you expect, if you want to put your money on anybody in these circuits to place at the very least in that top or echelon of the, uh, the highest seeds of this tournament... You're going to want to put your money on Fade. He's a frequent one right there. Yeah, and we do have another racer stepped into the fray. Uh, guess what? It's another Roy. So I'm going to guess that they're pretty good. And this is, um, hold on, as soon as I still getting them camera ready here. But uh, 
His Twitch URL, uh, URL is Immortal Man. So, mm. uh, yeah. Check that out in just a second. As I, I remember like exactly where I put him in here. There he is. Immortal Man is showcase name of confidence right there. Yeah, That's making Melpool. a couple Roys on the screen, uh, both in the same race. All right, good. This works out nicely. You know, you know how I feel about having. Uh, you know, it looks like we got two people here, and it looks like we got two people in the other lobby, including Cold Brew and Jet slash Adam slash Jetline. Hmm. <laughs> jet slash Adam slash Jetline. I like dude. it. No, no, no. I know. I know it is. It's just like you gotta say it three times. You gotta make sure you got every little basis for you right there you know make sure you don't mess it up and backing up right here and good on yeah, Melpool right there smart. he had that little backup war with Glentendo right there he was doing the exact same thing I'm sure you guys noticed it unfortunately for Glenn though it's looking like uh, Melpool is going to wind up at the top of that exchange but Glentendo with the acceleration still finding a way in front of him despite being the recipient of that uh blue shell right there as Melpool is going to take a little bit of a bump into the wall right there but he's not going to lose too much momentum for it here in the top seven of this Thwomp Ruins race right here he's still got a whole nother lap to see if he can bring it around for him meanwhile we have a mortal man hanging a little bit farther back in 10th place I believe the lowest ranking human player in this lobby right now currently but again this is the last lap, so plenty is subject to change. Yes, meanwhile, in the bottom left, that is a CPU Bowser as uh, Jetline is spectating here. Beautiful stuff right here. Let's see how this Thwomp, uh, this Thwomp Ruins race ends for you guys right here. Meanwhile, Cafe Cold Brew trying to seal this out a little bit at the bottom right right there, but he does have a whole nother lap after this one to work with as it's only the second one at the top left here. What do we got? Melpool will narrowly not sneak in a second place right there. He will have to suffice or... Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, settle. Couldn't think of the word settle. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, my no, vocabulary is amazing. Yeah. For third place right there. Meanwhile, JJ above him at second. Metal Mario's represent. Everything is Chrome in the future, boys. We all know it. And at the top above him was Taka Marth, able to take a W in these 12 race Contendo circuits right there, putting himself that much higher on the board for a potential top eight showing here. Meanwhile, at the right, Cafe Cold Brew hanging on second place right here in this final lap. And ahead of him. Who do we got right there, boys and girls? Who is that man? Wait, who? That's Bryce. Oh, it is Bryce. With yeah. the Luigi With up the in Luigi. this first place right now. Let's see if he's going to be able to take this W, Chris Elodian. Do you ever see... I feel like uh, Bryce is the only Luigi I ever really see in these... In our circuits, anyways. Seems like a pretty, like, not common character, as it would seem. And, I mean, when he got all, all those choices... He plays of all those... him occasionally. Yeah. But other than that, I agree. Oh, you're right. Dilly does. And, and also Lukasko when he joins these circuits. Yeah, shout out to uh, Dilly. Haven't seen him in a few weeks, but uh, may he be doing well. I hope so. I hope so too. I hope I hope Dilly finds. I hope Dilly found every diamond he was looking for. I agree. He may have. Speaking of diamonds, looking like we're mining down the shore to see what treasures we can find beneath here at Dolphin Shoals. A track I like. It's a it's a pretty fun one. It's a really unique one as well, to say the least, because uh, I, I can't think of too many other tracks that have a giant... Yeah. Oh, dude, whoa, oh, whoa, yeah. he, what, what are you doing right he there, you bra he was showing what? us the He was showing us the goods. Oh my goodness. I appreciate that I don't know if he was trying to surprise himself of whatever items he was going to get for the item mixing strategy, as you can see, he's clearly implementing right here. Or if he just wanted to show us the fact that he has the swaggy limited edition uh, Nintendo Switch Lite. I mean, if he... you ask me, Chris, I think it was both. Can you blame him? No, not at all, dude. I was literally, when I was wearing that red shirt and people confused me for working for Target when I was in a damn Best Buy, people would always ask me over and over again if we had those in stock, and I had to be like, nah, those went away. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, they got snatched up, my friends. That's why I was telling people, whenever they were asking for those Switch Lights, I'm like, guys, I'm telling you, we got a lot of supply of them. They are going to go fast. Grab them while they're hot. And people did, and then they never got back, except for my man Jetline, who was able to get one right here. So shoutouts to you doing that, and shoutouts to him using the item mixing strategy to his advantage as well. Got that bullet bill to bump him back all the way up to eighth place. Not Probably not the biggest jump that he probably wanted, considering he was going for that uh, the item shuffling strategy, but it's still a bump regardless, and now he has a golden mushroom way higher up than he should be, and I'm very anxious to see how much farther he gets because of it as he mashes that button. It's actually so interesting watching somebody's actual hand, you know, doing that move now. <laughs> it is. It's. I, I kind of I like it. 
It's like a nice yeah. little variety. I think it, it adds a little bit of flavor to the stream. Uh, just because I think it gives people an idea of like how these get put together. It's a lot of people. It's it's the effort of of a few that make this happen. Uh, these guys mm -hmm. being a big part of that few. And even if you got a switch light, it doesn't matter. You can still contribute, um, and that is good. So we couldn't appreciate any more. Yeah, that's very than true. we could express, um, to say I, the least. So thank it, you to all of you. Yeah, and, and it looks like uh, I do see Bryce out in second place in Melpool's uh, race, and I see Notch, who is actually Knight, because I recognize that me. Um, but yeah, that is going to be Immortal Man taking fifth uh, with Adam. Yeah, coming in first. Ooh, Yeah, my JJ word. second, HSB third, and that baby Luigi sneaking in there. I don't know what he's doing in there, but he's there. Man, and I got to tell you, my friend. Two things as we go into the final lap of this Mount Wario race. First of all, I think it would be so much harder personally to play in handheld mode when you're trying as hard as you have to try in these circuits. I personally, I don't think I'd be able to do that, especially on the normal, more bulkier Switch. But on the Switch Lite, it's smaller uh, as well, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think he's good. I think he's going to maintain he's his He's okay, yeah. Right he's a little disappointed, though. You saw the head drop back. Can't blame him. Uh, either way, coming in with the fourth. Meanwhile, that is Bryce. Uh, off to a pretty good start. He sent out a, a total of 39 points. I have a feeling he might be a race behind. But in either case, looking solid nonetheless. Nonetheless, my friends. It's always hype to see. And not even just watching the hands on the lights uh, on the Switch Lite, but the fact that it is also smaller. I don't know if you guys have ever held a Switch Lite. You know, it came out at a... It came out at a very weird time. I mean, in my tenure, when I was working for the for the Biggin company, I always had to tell people like, yeah, listen, this is lighter. The buttons are softer, which is a lot better for small children's hands, as well as the fact that uh, if I'm not mistaken, no, no, it has a cartridge slot. It does have one of those, but I mean, a lot of people like. To oh, that would be weird if it did. Yeah, like an all digital one like we have for the upcoming PlayStation 5. But I always told people, like, if you, um, I always told people the Switch, the normal Switch, was way better bang for your buck because it comes with extra controllers regardless because of the Joy-Cons. It's got a bigger screen and all that stuff, plus all the other features that it would have. Rather, the Switch Lite is more limited in its functionality because of the obvious fact that you cannot dock it onto a, an actual Switch dock. It is an only handheld console, which, by the way, there are some games that you uh, actually can't play in handheld mode so there are a few less games you actually can't play on the switch one of the biggest ones being super mario party i believe so when i was working for the man i had to tell people that over and over again like listen i'm telling you the switch is much better bang for your buck it's a hundred dollars more but it comes with way more stuff the fact that you can play it on your television which is what people were obviously looking for in a home console but what i always told people for is that if you have a very small child like maybe like six five and under that the Switch Lite is probably a much better tool, something that they're going to use mostly by themselves. Really, something to keep them distracted when they have to get you have you you know you have to drag them to the doctor's office or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're just waiting in the waiting room. That's what I told people the Switch Lite is best for, especially the fact that the little buttons are much softer, so it's a lot better on their little hands for the Switch Lite as well. So I always saw the, I always marketed the Switch Lite when I was in stores as much better for actual small children. That's how I was able to still sell Switch Lights, even though I personally think the switch light just compared to the normal switch is kind of yeah, useless weird. i agree but uh that was what i was doing but my man uh my man jetline out here not yeah, a child and he's here. doing it with it and mm -hmm. he's getting freaking first look at this man yeah he's a beast God. dude that's what i'm saying i feel like uh he's always been pretty good in these circuits but i feel like since he's been streaming he's really been putting on a show so uh it's definitely someone easy. to continue to watch out for um because that is currently putting him at 74 points which I would say is, it looks like it's the lead. So that's probably going to stay the lead for a bit, provided he keep racing as well as he is. Um, meanwhile, I am trying to tell... Okay, yeah. Two, these guys are not in the same place. So th my, my brain fizzled for a second. The maps looked... <laughs> they, they looked a little bit similar, and then I realized, I'm like, oh, wait, never mind. It's also the exact same character, bro. I mean, that is true. And they're it. also taking... Uh, well, they were taking right-hand turns, but... Okay, we don't got to talk about it. No, no, we, we don't got to talk. The Super Bowl subways are being sanitized every day. So at the very least, you should be happy about that. Something that New York City has, should, should have been doing yeah, for years. Yeah. That's a W, to say that the is, least. That is a win. Anyway, my friends, I mean, I would personally be so enthralled to see Jetline win this circuit on a handheld Switch Lite, man. I just got to say. I think he's done it. I, I'm trying to remember. He either got first or second. Let me just check the results. These, these are all listed. 
Yeah, and I got 15th last week, and then I dipped. He got second so in 200 TC, and he got second uh, in the last um, just regular Glintendo circuit. So he's due. Uh, lost to Royal last week by one point, 164 oh. to 163. So he's looking for that revenge. Meanwhile, uh, Melpool keeping himself competitive, honestly. Um, do, do he's getting those moderate placements yeah, that, that he needs. Which is, you know, might not seem great, but is still one of those things where it could still get you into top eight, which has really been the mark uh, recently because everyone wants to be on that graphic, man. Who doesn't want to be on the top eight graphic? Bro. Everybody. I wanted I wanted to be on the top eight graphic, but I just I sucked. And then I wanted to be on the top eight graphic on Tuesday, but then the pizza place just took forever. We had to stand outside waiting for our food, and it was already seven o'clock. Chris, I hate to see oh, it, pretty, man. I'm sorry. I hate hate it to see. It was the worst day of my life. I'm no, sorry. It was, actually, it, was, it was actually a pretty great day. It was it was it was still a fun day, regardless. Anyway, here on Sunshine Airport, a track that has, this is a track that sort of has a really established meta. To it, if you would. The shortcut, certain shortcuts are really rarely a taken. You know, one thing that pretty much every good player does, or every knowledgeable player does, I should say, is when they're actually getting out of the plane, they never go through it. You know, that little ramp that lets you into the plane? No one ever really actually goes through that because it actually is slower. It's a lot quicker to just do a trick off of the, uh, off of the little ramp there. You're going to see it because uh, a jet line is about to pass it right here. Once you get up to this little top spot right here, mm -hmm. I mean, he got hit, he got hit by lightning, so I don't know if he's going to do it this time, actually. You don't take this little ramp, and instead you just jump immediately down here because you fall faster because of the gravity, and therefore you land quicker to get your boost faster rather than doing the whole, like, slow jump from the ramp to go through the, uh, to go through the plane right there. It actually is a slower thing to do to go through that instead, so most of the time you're going to see players do that little trick fall down as quickly as they can so they can get that boost and then continue on their merry way as Jetline is doing right here. Unfortunately for Jetline, though, all them fancy tricks is not going to be good enough for him to not take this race over who I believe is HSB in front of him with that Waluigi. I believe this is the lobby that they were going for right here. We will find out momentarily and that it was, as you can see on the top left. Oh, not even the top left, the top right here as well. HSB going to take that all the way up to 79, but Jetline still firmly at that front right there, 86 points. Yeah, he's God chilling. Damn dude. switch he's, light. Yeah, he's chilling. He's having a good day, and he's been having really good days. So that's that streak is going to continue for a bit. Meanwhile, we do have Immortal Man and Melpool. Uh, Immortal Man just getting started. Melpool about halfway through. All right. Yeah, Mel Melpool halfway through his races right here. Meanwhile, we have Roy. Slip sliding under the fist of his father, or not father, I mean, they're canonically not his kids, actually. Miyamoto deconfirmed that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's able to slip through that right there with that max top speed of Rory right here. Here at uh, Mario Kart 8 Bowser's Castle, a track that I... I enjoy. I love it aesthetically. It's got all the kind of stuff that you'll see from, like, normal uh, Mario Kart Bowser tracks, you know? It always has, like, a lot of lava, all like these like dark browns and grays, portraits of Bowser sometimes, as you can see on those Game Boy Advance versions, spike balls, as well as pretty much the notoriety of every single Bowser's Castle Mario Kart track, a giant section like this, like a mortal man is in right now that has some sort of giant Bowser statue swinging at you, some scary thing along the likes of that that always fits, and I personally love to see it. Meanwhile, at the top left right here, the final lap on the part of Melpool right here, here on Cloudtop Cruise. Will he be able to break his fourth place curse right here? And he is Yo. sniping with those fireballs right at the very yeah, end nice and finish. using the boost of Absolutely. the Piranha Plants. Yeah, looking pretty sharp there. And there's Takamarth getting himself first place in Geronimo, coming in second. And Melpool actually three points ahead of, uh, I think that was Geronimo in second. So does not feel confident in his ability to place top eight this week, but um, I don't know. You never know. It, it could totally be there. Like it, It's so hard to know. And you know what? I'm probably due to check how many entrants are in because now that we're about halfway through, that's right. I said we're about halfway through. That's crazy. Remember at this time when we used to only be a quarter of the way through? Um, and we would always talk about things such as the Wario apparition or Blue Bowser, all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, now, rem I remember, Chris. Yeah, I remember. Now we get to just talk about the tournament because 
it, what, what it, concept, it's easy right? to focus on a tournament when it's only an hour. It's amazing. <laughs> what a concept, right, my friend? Yeah, and you could really tell what's going on, and the point values actually mean something. So here we go. Mm. Cold Brew looking pretty good. Uh, not that far off from Bryce, but he does have HSB, and I think that may have been Knight right on his tail. Or maybe not Knight, but there's Master. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Yeah, that's... That is, yeah. The Mario Kart to a T, my friends. He was so focused on the offense of trying to clutch out the end of that race that he didn't pay attention to the fact that there were still these human players behind him in Knight and in, I missed the other one, but it was the Daisy player. You know who I'm talking about. Might have been, I think it was Cold Brew. It was Cold Brew. That's, that is, that is a crucial thing sometimes sometimes some players don't pay attention to the fact or they don't pay attention to those like you know little moments where you have to really choose between using your items for offensive reasons or defensive reasons he's where he was at the end right there he thought okay i can snipe this player in front of me with these two red shells use one to get rid of his protection and use the other one to actually hit him so i can get third not realizing that there were players behind him that he could have checked with the uh, reverse feature to see if they had red shells for him to actually defend against. And as such, he wound up placing even lower than he intended originally. That is a crucial thing. You got to know those moments when, uh, when to pick your cards, when to play them. You got to know how to hold them and, and know when to fold yeah, them. Yeah, I, 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 I know. That's my, right. my drunkle Eddie once said. <laughs> Yeah, I, I knew exactly where you're going as soon as you said hold them. But anyways, yeah, I know, I know you did. I know yeah, you're a smart lad. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty smart. Uh, yeah, I think I think you are. You know how to do a lot of things. All right, well, I'm gonna have you hold the wheel for a second. I'm loading up these scores because I'm curious how many people are right. today. I'm curious too, my friends. But right here at the left, Melpool. He broke his fourth place curse, but will he wind up falling to one even lower before? He's hanging back in seventh place on the second to final lap here, but we're going to see what he's going to be able to do. He's got that red shell that, ooh, never mind, he gets hit. He gets hit by one instead, not able, to, not able to use his mushrooms to the best of his ability as he uses the piranha plant to edge his way back up to fifth place. Meanwhile, the right right here, we got a mortal man hanging on second place on the first lap right here. I, What was the Metal Mario player's name? I think it was JJ, something it was, like that. Uh, it was JJ. JJ, thank you. You know, I get confused with all these gamers and their gamer tags yeah, and yeah. their letters and whatnot. At least it's not as confusing as it was back in like the 2009 Microsoft Xbox Call of Duty days when everybody's tag was XX double clan tag 420 to 69 XX and you had to like actually like, you know, differentiate the capital X's between the lowercase ones. That was so stupid back then. Thank God those are dead and people just for the most part have normal usernames now or just ones that aren't like garbage to spell except for the one that was Italian or Spanish heart attack a few weeks ago. I forget that one. Meanwhile, the left Melpool <laughs> is going to retain his fourth place curse right here or return to it, I should say, placing fourth in that Bowser's Castle race. He's getting these moderate placings. I mean, if there's any placing to get over and over again, you prefer it to be something like fourth rather than something a little lower. At the very least, he's consistent on a consistent high place, which very well might be enough for him to still be able to crack this top eight, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Meanwhile, at the right, we got Cafe Cold Brew on Ice Ice Outpost, not to be confused with Rosalina's Ice World, which is everyone's favorite because that music, that song yeah, slaps. Yeah, it's got the best track. It really does. It's like, it, it has like these, it has like such specific chords like combined with the bass that just hit you in a certain way. And it's a very dreamy way as well. Unfortunately though, that track did not return from Mario Kart 7 up until Mario Kart 8. N not until the next Mario Kart game. Rip Rosalina's Ice World, unfortunately. Just whip out the 3DS if you want to play that track. Meanwhile, we are still on what I believe is the final lap right here. Will Cafe Cold Brew be able to clutch something out? And it's looking like this sixth place is going to have to be his home. Or the seventh? Yeah, the seventh. He just got narrowly skipped right there by the shortcut at the end by Bryce. And look at those results right there. And uh, shoutouts to King Boo, the CPU, up in second place right there. Yeah, sometimes. How the hell did that happen? I don't know. Sometimes these CPUs, uh, they're, sometimes we're bringing the heat. But anyways, uh, update on the scores. Although we did just have, yeah, I got to reset these already. But we do have 22 entrants. Uh, before the reset, currently Roar XD in first, Fate in second, Jet um, in third, and HSB in fourth. And all those guys sitting above 90 points. Meanwhile, um, below the 85 point threshold is Dark Takamarth. Uh, MP King and JJ rounding out the top eight. Actually, uh, Bryce tied with DJ, uh, JJ for eighth. So, wow. um, yeah, Melpool looking from the outside in 10th place. 65 points, really not that far. Um, keep in mind, those are out-of-date scores. As you can see already, Melpool has 74 points by now. But 
Uh, these scores do not auto-update. I have to literally hard reboot the game to get those. So, um, you know, work with what you got. Yeah, Chris. Uh-oh. I thought of a number funnier than 22. Uh-oh. What do you think of? 23. Oh, nice. Hey, you see all these guys in the same race now? All coming oh, together on the shit. big blue. Oh, let's go. That's it's it's mute city. Mute Dude, city. Oh, I keep calling it big blue. I do that a lot. It's got how a lot of How dare you? How dare you confuse the one other F zero track for the one <laughs> other F zero track in this game, Chris? God, respect the lore. I'm sorry, Chris. I don't mean that. I'm just trying. I'm I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Chris. It's okay, man. But this is actually really stupid hype. I love when they all wind up being in the same lobby like this. It, yeah, it, just, it, it makes it like so much more immersive and you know just hype to you know see like it's which one fun. is going to take it in the same race. I, I think it's fun regardless, to be honest. But I, I also think this is very fun to say the least. Meanwhile, out of these four players, it's looking like the top right in Immortal Man is going to uh, be at the top of the charts right here in second place with only HSB, the Waluigi, in front of him. You see. Meanwhile, over here, bottom right, with that patented Pokemon 3D. Uh, with that patented Pokemon Nintendo Switch light in uh, Jetline right here, as he bragged about it before, it has that it has that Pokemon pattern on the back. It has Zementa and whatever the other Pokemon was called, the other legendary. I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't remember either. Which is just, which is actually bad because Pokemon dropped during that tenure that I was working with them, so it was actually my job to know. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And uh, but anyway. Looking like he's hanging back to fifth right here. Not too bad of a placing. Meanwhile, the top right over here on the third lap. Immortal man, my friends. Trying to show you how immortal he is. To show you that it is both a blessing and a curse right here. To be that immortal man. Mostly a curse, personally. I think it'd be terrible. But anyway, he's holding up the front line right here. HSB in front of Melpool right here. And then in front of him, I can't exactly tell because his stream is, in fact, a little bit blurry right now. But he's going to pass him regardless, taking that shortcut. He's got... Oh, my God. He's got... Uh, dude, what's his name? He's got a mortal man right in front yeah. of him. But HSB is still going to take it right there. He's going to be able to clutch that out against a mortal man right there, taking a very respectable and valiant second place. Meanwhile, Melpool going to finish fourth instead. JJ in third. Below him, Dark, Takamarth, and Jet down at the bottom in eighth place. Cold Brew, my friends. What a hell of a... I almost said Big Blue. Chris, I judge you for yeah, that yeah, so yeah, hard yeah. every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then you have my permission to virtually slap me through the screen if I ever make that mistake because of how hard I judge you for doing it. All right, so. I'll keep that in mind. I probably won't take advantage of that, but I will keep it in mind. Thank you. I just It's, it's just what I feel like I unfortunately deserve for being such a wiener. Anyway, <laughs> Hyrule Circuit might be... No, oh, no, Sweet Sweet Canyon instead. A much more basic track. Sweet Sweet Canyon has a few, like, you know, gimmicky shortcuts, like through the donut and... Uh, What's the, what's the other one I'm trying to... Th I, I don't think there's another really big one, to be honest. Sweet Sweet Mountain is another one of those tracks that... It's really just about taking advantage of those big turns, you know what I mean? Because there really aren't too many giant shortcuts, you know, that you really don't need a... Unless there's ones that you need a mushroom for, like the giant donut as well. But that's irrelevant regardless, because it's looking like our original pick in Hyrule Circuit is going to win that little roulette there instead. This is a track that has grown on... A lot of people, I, I did not like it when it first came out years ago, back in 2014, whenever Mario Kart, uh, whenever Mario Kart 8 originally came out for the Wii U. I thought it was very difficult, especially on 200cc, but it's precisely because of that difficulty that these players probably like it all the more. Instead, we've got Roy on a Wiggler, which I don't know about you, but I order that shit every time I go to a deli. I just yeah. walk in, I'm like, yo, give me a Roy on a Wiggler. And then, my, and then my boy Dennis behind the counter is like, hey, Thunis, I, <laughs> yeah. uh, I got to. And he makes me the Roar on He's a just, Probably yeah. the best sandwich I've ever had in my life, if I'm being honest. Yeah, they do pretty good in those smaller delis. I love delis. Yeah, same. They're pretty good. So, oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I know. Um, I believe... Oh, who are we missing right now? Yeah, Immortal Man dropped, I think, to do a character switch, if I'm not mistaken. So I Ooh. think he's, he's in... Um, or at least a cart switch at the very least. So That's always exciting. Yeah, the, the thing that stinks about that is a lot of times you get left out of the next race just because, you know, you drop. And, and, these, and these are like revolving lobbies. They stay active. So if you're in one that's about to start and you drop, then you're all of a sudden waiting. That's like the one tr uh, tricky part because like if, if you drop at the wrong time, I mean, it, it seemed to have... It, 
it's worked out for Immortal Man. He's he's just getting started. But like sometimes what happens when you do that is you end up in like a lobby with like three people, mm, and then you're yeah. and then that's like the rest of your day. So I'm glad that didn't happen. But he is gonna have the Koopaling, and I don't know if that's is that like no that that's his his dead uncle all the way up there, Dry Bowser, right? Is his, it or, his hold on. Drunkle, well, no, his drunkle Bowser? Oh, hold on. What what's the Koopa kids? The, they're, they're the Koopa. lore. They're, the lore, they're Bowser's my kids, right? Like no, they're are no, they Miyamo Bowser's Miyamoto nephews? literally no Miyamoto literally deconfirmed that he said he didn't know their relation, but he said the Koopa kids are all not Bowser's actual oh, children, and that Bowser then. and that Bowser Junior is his only actual child. All right, I don't know. At least that's what he said. I don't know. They can change the I mean, lore all they want. Lie. They created the shit. Why are you lying? No, uh, it was like a whole interview that Miyamoto did. It was like a video interview too, actually. Like it was one where like he didn't say anything at all, like no verbal thing. He just nodded yes or shook his head no. <laughs> it was it was adorable. Like one of the questions was like, "Would you let Dr. Mario perform surgery on you?" And he just got really scared and he started like rapidly shaking his head no. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, like confirming, like no, he is not a real doctor. Like that's what he said. It was it was a really cute interview. I'm not gonna lie, but yes, that is what it is. And the lore that you were thinking of, as Jet takes second place right below Cold Brew and above HSB right there, the lore that you were thinking of is that I think that we established uh, what feels like years ago at this point was that Dry Bowser is the deceased Blue Bowser. Yes, from Super Mario precisely. Brothers: The Lost Levels. Yes, that, and I believe that is the actual hidden lore. And there's there's legit evidence of it that. You know, we've talked about in that previous broadcast, which is still on the Master Hand Gaming's channel. Always. We can definitely send that to you guys if you'd like. But we went into it, and the lore is pretty real. So, no, technically not their uncle. Just That's Bowser's what I was thinking. Dead, I was just... Bowser's dead brother, apparently. Sad. But, I mean, he's not dead. I mean, he's still here. He's yeah, he's, he's, he's with us, you know? Um, so, anyways, yeah, that is... Uh, uh, wow, dude, look at that. You got a metal and a gold Mario coming in first and second. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario power all the way. So... With that in mind, we are getting started here. Hell is real. <laughs> <laughs> you just stopped. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. I told you, my, my, my brain's all slow moving today. We're, we're making dude, it work, I, though. Dude, so is mine, we're and I told work. you why. I told you why. I mean, I feel more awake now. It's just at 6.30, I literally woke up from that nap, and I was like, whoa. Oh, no. But we're back. Yeah, we're, we're back. We're, in, we're, we're on Cheeseland. We're in here. Which is a very popular Call of Duty custom zombies map. There is one called Cheeseland, which is set in a custom cube brick. But that's not where we're at right now. We're playing Mario Kart instead. Cheeseland, a track that's grown on a lot of people. It is quite literally made of cheese, and it has some cheese shortcuts as well, especially if you're able to use the shortcuts. And my goodness, that sucks. Do you see what happened to Cold Brew over at the top right? I he actually... got his star stolen uh, uh... by a boo, you know, the boo item. He didn't use it fast enough, and he didn't take into account that a boo might come in. So he lost it. That's unfortunately. That's unfortunate, I should say. Unfortunately, I agree. That is unfortunately. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Grammar. Oh, meanwhile, we are here on uh, not Sherbert Land. Crap, what is the GameCube version called? Uh, why am I forgetting the name? Either way, this is one of my favorite tracks in the game and also one of my favorite tracks from Double Dash. I love the music. So much. I think I think it is Sherbert Land. I think it's well, Sherbert whatever. Land too. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm pretty sure Sherbert Land is the one from '64, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's looking like a <clears throat> looking like a mortal man is going to bump himself. Oh, never mind. He's all over the place with these placings right now. Looking very close between these three players here at the back echelon of these racers. Looking pretty poised though. It is only the second lap, so he's got plenty of time to make his way. Meanwhile, over here on the left, it's looking like almost all players are in their final lap here on Cheese Land. Instead. Meanwhile, the bottom right jet line is hanging off a little bit farther back. I don't know if that's a different lobby. Oh, no, he's just item. He's just doing the item swapping strategy. He's just hanging back on purpose. Never mind. But over here, and it's looking like it's work. No, no, that is two different lobbies. Never mind. I I, I was very confused. Is it? It is, just, it, it is two different cheese lands. Look, because Melpool and uh, jet line were in 11th no, place. No, no, I think it's the same one. I think it's just the streams are a little bit misaligned because uh, yeah, the live probably. stuff. It's, it's definitely the same one because I, I see the same people in the same placings on the map. But All right, that, uh, that was looking for that the whole time to try to find similar people to ensure. But uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. There it is. There's yeah. Jetline. HSB. Right 
Uh, common in clutch in first, meanwhile Bryce in second, Dark in third. So those guys are going to continue to press forward on what looks to be a very competitive day for all three of them. And meanwhile, let's see what Immortal Man does with what he's got left of this race, because he's also nearing the end. Yeah, he's going to need a really good item if he wants any chance to be able to bring this back. We are in pretty much the final section of this track, the final ice lake, or ice pond, I should say, right here. To make his way back, he gets one golden mushroom, but the golden mushroom is just not enough to carry when you're that far back. He's only going to go up one place in seventh. Definitely not what he wanted. Definitely not what Roy wanted. Oh, but the, God, the chrome future back again in JJ and Vertigo <laughs> in that top two right there. Metal Mario's represent... Yeah, I man, love it. I got a medal and a gold, uh, JJ and Vertigo. That is back-to-back -back races where they come in first and second, respectively. Um, and I am going to pay more attention to see what race is coming up because I haven't really paid attention to that. But I know we are getting pretty deep in there. We got about 15 minutes left, so it looks like we're heading to Music Park. And Cold Brew also heading to Music Park. And final race! Look at that. I knew it was coming. Yes, Music Park. It is a park where the, the, the greatest of the musicians gather to play their music loud and proud. Meanwhile, a bunch of racers just come in and ruin their day every time because they just like to race those tracks there. It's a big problem. They, they probably have to take it up with their city council to see if they can really get anything done about it to get these guys away. But that's not going to happen just yet. Looking like uh, looking like Melpool hanging back in seventh right here at the start of this race. Cold Brew a little bit behind him, two places behind. But it is only the first lap, my friends. There's only so much that can happen in a Mario Kart race. Meanwhile, Jetline all the way up at the front in third place right here on his patented uh, Zafirlopoulos and Zamenta, the, the <laughs> Nintendo Switch right there. To get all the way up to second place, my god. Oh my god, he's bumping in between right there. Price is the only one ahead as he almost jumps above the gate right there, utilizing the boost. That would have been really bad if he went out of bounds right there, but it's looking like that's not the case. Good item management and even beautiful mini drifts are going to ensure him to go all the way up to first place right here. He's going to use this shortcut. Oh my god, flawlessly lands on the stage uh, as well. He had like no air in between that to make sure he could have gone as fast as possible. Meanwhile, the whole time he had that mushroom in his hand as insurance in case he needed to go over the grass and unfortunately he uses it at the worst possible time using that mushroom and then immediately getting hit by a red shell so he wasn't able to utilize the boost and because of that one little mistake chris that he hardly would have been able to account for he fell about all the way back to seven that's how this game goes uh sometimes it just takes one mistake and then if the game is really not on your side then a lot of other things happen and then and you're down even more places so it's so unfair. Oh, no. He's got Adam getting all turned around. Oh, no. It's the spaghetti. Uh, so any, oh, it brought him before the drum, too. The thing too. Is, is he has a lot of room to work with in terms of it's only the second lap and the way the items are distributed in this game. Things could change at any moment. Does use that lightning at the very last moment before getting a double item box. And just like that, here comes Gold Mushroom, the Bullet Bill. You better believe he's probably going to use that immediately. Or is okay, he's gonna wait it out a little bit and we'll see where he's planning to use this. Oh, probably now. You know, it, now's the time. It makes sense. Maybe not. It, it makes sense that he's holding back to use it because he's in tenth place and therefore the players behind him really aren't very likely to get a lightning. Rather, they're more likely to get golden mushrooms and whatnot and stars themselves because they're all the way that farther back. It's not the lightning sweet spot doesn't really happen too, too much until you're in like 10th place, 9th place, that kind of thing, really. So I think he realized that, that the players behind him were more likely not going to pull out a lightning. So he probably, I think that's why he waited to use the bullet bill right there. Unfortunately, it's a little, looks like it's too little too late for him. He was just never able to recover from getting hit by that red shell just once. And his potential final race here is going to fall all the way to ninth. Meanwhile, on dry, dry, dry dunes, whatever it's called, Immortal is going to actually dethrone the Metal Mario boys. Vertigo and JJ below him this time, but Immortal is going to get that clean W on bone dry dunes instead. Good stuff. I don't believe that was his last race. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, wait, which one? Immortal? Uh, Immortals, yes. Yeah, it's it's not. It looks like he's getting geared up to go. Um, hold on, let me see. I mean, like, JJ has to come out here verbally say this is his last game. He made a little me. He made his me say it just to make sure we know. Much appreciated, my friend. There you go. And what are we going to get? We got a 50-50 chance here between Neo Bowser and Super Bell Subway. Everybody's two least favorite tracks. 
I, I, I don't like either of these ones personally, but it's what we're going to get here for what looks like is the final race. Let's find out for Immortal Man here. And yeah, it is. It is indeed. And I think Cold Brew is done. Melpool is done. Um, and Jetline might be done. I th right. I'm pretty sure he is. So this is what we got. This is the last little bit of Nintendo Circuit we got. Um, and I know that the point totals were looking in the favor of the likes of Bryce, um, Jetline slash Adam. Uh, who else we got? HSB in the in the discussion. I am going to do the hard reboot so I could get an update of the scores. But okay. even then, um, we still have 10 minutes left. This happened last week, too, where it actually did come down to the final race for, I think it was king cold who literally won on the last race by like three points i think so things wow. do change in the last 10 minutes especially when there are only 12 races it's, it's really dependent on um you know when people started and our point of view is literally restricted to um you know whoever's streaming so while those are good sometimes we do miss what's going on after the fact and there are still 11 minutes left which is still enough time for at least two more races after this at least if you started late Hmm. Yes, there are, my friend. Just get a little bit of extra time. Might be all you need. Like you said before, he's definitely not going to... Oh, wow! Never mind! I was going to say there's not a chance in hell that a mortal man is going to use that mushroom right there at the tightest corner in the game, but he does! Using it, using it as a shortcut and bouncing his way all the way back up to second. He gets hit by a red shell for his trouble, but either way, that was impressive item utilization right there, to say the least. That is a scary spot to use a mushroom if you are not an experienced player in this game and my man immortal man out here showing you that he is he didn't advance too far because of it still in second place now i should say with i believe can't tell here i think that's probably hsb in front of him i can't tell when the ma no um, no it's jj it's jj it is jj it's, never mind like and we'll see if he's going to be able to take it especially with this all oh, this blue shell and he's got the protection of the red shell coming up behind him as well let's see if he's going to be able to clutch this out right here building up all that top speed no vertigo is going to use those mushrooms to get through the shortcut and instead he has to settle yeah, for defense fourth is place on deck i was ready for that um hold on trying to get rid of that there we go yeah that is jj coming in first vertigo second knight in third with the king boo so now that that's all said and done, we can go ahead and take a look at the scores. So let's do that. And there is still another nine minutes. So keep in mind, there are still races going on. And if you're looking for the full on finished results, you're going to want to keep it to um, whether it be Twitter, Discord, uh, whichever. The results are always posted pretty much the same day as they happen um, within within like the couple hours that everything finishes. But that is fate winning. Uh, well, I don't want to say winning yet. I don't know if JJ's done. I don't know if Aurora is done. But uh, it looks like Fate has potentially secured yet another Glintendo circuit, which is going to make, like, I think, like, four Glintendo wins in the past, like, five or six or something like that. He's He's been on a roll. Uh, JJ looking to be in second. Rar in third. HSB fourth. Uh, Bryce in fifth. And I do know that Bryce does have some races left because uh, he definitely started late. So there's potential for him to at least bump up another. Honestly, he could find himself in third place, possibly. Um, actually, if he gets a first place in the next race, that would put him tied for first. So I don't know. That's one of those things we're going to have to wait on. Uh, that That's why we're going to want to keep it to, um, you know to uh you know let me let me just get so you guys know exactly where to go so if you're interested in seeing the results and all the finalized stuff make sure you keep it to the twitters you see at super nintendo at master and gaming all those results will be tweeted out and all those things and if you're interested in seeing them all lined up you could go ahead and join the Master Hand Gaming discord that will link you to the glintendo discord where literally everything glintendo circuit is like archived and managed and all those things uh the master and gaming discord is really just a means to get you there as well as some other places um a work in progress but yeah good games everybody that is going to be it for us before we go away i do want to remind everybody that every single tuesday we do have more mario kart with 200 cc races it's so much faster that we could do a whole extra four races in one hour so be sure to keep it here um or yeah Come back here Tuesday if you're looking for some of that. I know uh, it's a lot more stressful racing 200cc because things do move very quickly. But um, 
still pretty fun. And if you're looking for something that isn't Mario Kart, every single Thursday there is Smash Brothers, so don't be shy. This is open to everyone. Uh, it's free. There's a lot of cool stuff going on with this tournament. Uh, there's going to be some more official sort of outlines of that very soon, so keep tuned. But in the meanwhile, all you need to know is every single Thursday at 7.30, and registration closes at 6.30. These times are Eastern Standard, so keep that in mind. But Nintunist, that's it, man. We're all done. Woo, woo, so that's woo, Nintendo woo, Circuit number 20. <clears throat> yes, that it is, that? my friend. And that's number 20. How about that, my friends? A very interesting one, to say the least. I had a lot of fun. as the first time I have personally ever seen uh, Jetline with that, uh, with that stream layout that he had. I thought it was interesting. I'm not going to lie. And I also thought, thought it was very impressive as well. My friends, I don't know if you've ever held a Switch light. It is tiny. It is a tiny little thing. And uh, for him to have that set up in the way it did and to place as highly as he did with it, woo! It's bigger than that's a, impressive. It's bigger than a PSP or PS Vita, though, right? Definitely well, is. yes, yeah. yes. It, it is definitely bigger than that. But it is uh, smaller than the normal Switch, to say the least. Which comes in four beautiful colors. Now, now there's a pink one. There you go. You know, in case you want that little pink yeah, one. Yeah, if you're find interested, that uh, you should just get a regular Switch if you are, because we already talked yeah, about I'm that just, earlier. But it's just it's better. Right. It's just better always, value. It's the way it is. Always told everybody, honest to God, I'm like, it just because makes one sense. Thing, another thing I told them is that, like, listen, for your kids to play on this thing together, you're gonna have to buy a pair of Joy Cons anyway. That's running you like that's running you like damn near eighty dollars. So guess what, asshole? You just spent hey. three hundred dollars anyway, basically on a, just an inferior switch. Take it easy on our casual Nintendo consumers. They don't know yet. They're, they're, I mean, they're I, still I, figuring I, it out. Okay, Chris, I definitely I was a professional employee. I didn't call them that to them, but I did yeah, tell right. them basically. Yeah, you know me, Chris. Come on. I mean, you do, you do. I mean, you know what I actually did. Anyway, but seriously though, like <laughs> that is basically what I told them. I told them like, listen, if you're buying this for multiple kids, like if you don't have an only child, if they want to play this thing together, you're going to have to buy a pair of Joy-Cons anyway. That's going to run you $80 and then you spent $300 basically on literally just an inferior Switch. <laughs> that true. if you're looking to play multiplayer, the Switch Lite was marketed to people who really were only living their lives on the go. Small children to keep them busy when their parents had to keep them busy, or only child or only children who were just gonna play, you know, like you were only gonna have it for themselves as like a personal device. That's really the Switch Lite was supposed to be a really much more personal switch, is what it was. And for what it was, it was good, but for the most part, it was, you know, inferior to the normal model. That's what I told them. So And then the Nintendo Switch became the number one selling item of Black Friday, so as courtesy of yours truly, my friend, and totally not the fact that Nintendo was a AAA company and it was going to happen regardless. Hey, totally nothing to do with that. So uh, before, uh, I'm glad we have this little banter before we close, because guess, guess what the results did change? Um, it does look like Fate did hang on the first place. JJ coming in second just by a couple points, and Bryce making his way to third. Vertigo fourth, Rar XD fifth, HSB sixth, Geronimo seventh, MP King eighth. So that is your top eight. It does look like despite... Uh, a decent day from Adam uh, is going to end up in 10th. And Dark in 11th. Those are two really good players. And you can see this this bracket was very top-heavy today. So shout-out to everyone who came through and, you know, gave us their best races. But that is officially it for us now. We even got to see the final results. I'm going to assume those are the final results anyways. Who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was only another three minutes. So anyways, well, man, yeah. uh, that's it. So I do want to thank everybody for watching. And we'll be back on Tuesday for 200cc. Have a good night. That is, that is right, my friend. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, YouTube.com slash Nintunas. Yeah, you can I do that. I made a first impressions Paper Mario video. Yeah, that'll, that'll be... In case you don't know if you want to buy Paper Mario or not. That'll be linked through the Master Hand Gaming uh, uh, YouTube, so you guys can find that if you check out Master Hand Gaming YouTube. And yeah, I guess that's it. Those, those are our last words, so uh, have a good night, and we will see you on Tuesday for 200cc. We love you. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>